Yo, what is up, everybody? Today, we are back at it with another SMO movie. This one is titled, SMO Movie, Broken Guy's Ear Problem. What could he have with an ear problem, man? Like an ear infection? Something, I don't know, I can't show you all my ears, because that's disgusting. And also, I have a hat on. And, let's, you're wondering, <laughs> what's going on with the setup? Why am I standing up? Well, this is my setup, but I'm cleaning it off and stuff right now. And, like, I'm just kind of cleaning around my setup, so I had to move some of my stuff off of my desk. And, uh, my computer was one of them, so th this one will be here for a day, probably. Only for a day, probably. And, uh, yeah, and I might only upload one video today as well. And, uh, yeah, and I'll upload a three-minute short on Friday. Uh, so yeah, be ready for that, uh, if they even came out with that yet, I don't know. But, uh, anyways guys, before we get on speech, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And we're gonna get right into the spot talk. So, here we go. Oh. Come on, come on, I don't care about Vincent Van Gogh's ear, hurry up and go to the next one. Boy, hey, whatcha doing? I'm watching this online ear auction, I'm trying to buy Evander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. Ew, boy! Someone bit off. Because nobody else has it and I want it. Shh, it's coming up. All right, for our next item up to auction, we have Evander Holyfield's right ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. And to verify the authenticity of said ear, we have the Mr. Evander Holyfield. So, Mr. Holyfield, this is your ear, correct? Uh, oh, what's that? This ear is your ear, correct? Uh, repeat it again. The ear on the table is, in fact, the ear that Mike Tyson bit off of you. Hey, hey let's see. I can't hear your ass. You know my ear on the table. My apologies, sir. <coughs> so, Mr. Holyfield. Yeah. Everyone wants to know, is this your ear? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my ear right there. And why are you selling said ear? <laughs> you know the bills, do. <laughs> it's the rent, you know. I gotta pay it. You heard it here first, folks. Evan Holyfield needs to pay his rent. So, let's start the bidding at $1,000. Do I hear $1,000? $1, $1,000 going once. $1,000 going twice. Nothing. Okay. How about $500? Anyone for $500? Bid on it, Boiny. $500 is too much. I can get them lower. You in the back, sir. Uh, you're just getting up to use the bathroom. Understood. Maybe $100. Do I hear $100? I'll get your earring with it. Come on. $100? I'm buying it. $100? Uh, I've just been notified that someone from the online auction has bought the ear for one hundred dollars. That's right, sir. Want come on? Mm. Yes, yes, I won. I won the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Yes. Boy, what are you gonna do when you get your bitten off the ear? Well, I'm gonna put it in my wallet and carry it around with me wherever I go. And whenever I meet people, I'm gonna say, "Hey, you know that ear Mike Tyson bit off? I have it." And they're gonna say, "No, uh." And then I'm gonna whip it out and show them, and they're gonna think I'm cool. But how are they gonna know it was really his ear? It comes with a certificate of ear authenticity. Well, when does it get ear? Well, it gets ear tomorrow because they're doing overnight shipping. It's coming from Las Vegas. Oh, let's go to bed. I can't wait to get my ear. Oh, Karen, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna count sheep while I sleep. I'm gonna count ears. One ear, two ears. Boiny, I know you're not sleeping. Your eyes are still open. I know, that's how excited I am. Boiny, you wanna fool around? Only if I can do it in your ear. Boiny, that's icky. I know, I'm going to sleep. Huh? It's morning, Karen! Boyny, it's too early for this! I'm gonna go track my package. Oh, I can't wait to see what time my ear gets delivered. What? Package destroyed? What? Destroyed? Boyny, what's wrong? I'm on the UPS website, and it says my package was destroyed. What? I don't know, let me check the news. Breaking news! A UPS plane has crashed into a children's hospital, destroying all the packages and killing hundreds of people. What? Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Oh, I can't believe my luck! I know, Boiny! It's awful! All those children are dead! Oh, my package is gone! Boiny, this family's suffering out there! I'm suffering, Karen! I'm the one whose package got destroyed! Oh, why does God hate me? Why does he make this happen to me? Stop being so selfish, Boiny! Karen, that was a Vander Holyfield's only ear that got off. It was irreplaceable. How on earth could this have happened? Cut it out with the puns, boy. 
Jamie, it's not a joke! No, I know it's not a joke, Karen. I know people died, but you can always make more kids. You can't make more of Evander Holyfield's ear that got bitten off. You could do that one more time, but I bet he's not gonna do it. I don't care if he and Mike Tyson are friends now. He's not gonna let him bite the other one off. Cut it out, Boiny! No, no, I'm gonna go to the auction house, and I'm gonna say, how are you gonna make this right? I need you to make Mike Tyson bite Evander Holyfield's other ear off and spit it out into my hand. That's the only way. Boiny! No, I'm gonna go there and tell him. Damn it. Well, in any case, I am the Honorable Judge Boober, and today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is demanding to get Evander Holyfield's other ear because the one he purchased was destroyed in a plane crash. Brooklyn Guy, explain what's going on. So, I purchased Evander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off for $100 in an auction, and I was really excited to finally get the ear so I could show it off to my friends. And then BAM! The plane carrying the ear crashes and the ear gets destroyed. It was one of a kind! So now, they owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear, and I want Mike Tyson to bite it off and spit it into my hand. Hmm, very interesting. Mr. Auction House Man, what have you to say about this? Well, it wasn't the auction house's fault that UPS crashed their plane. It should be their job to get him a new Holyfield ear. Hmm. Yes, that does make sense that it is UPS's fault that their plane crashed. So, Brooklyn guy, couldn't you just sue UPS for a hundred dollar refund for the ear? I don't want a refund. I want Evander Holyfield's ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. It was worth way more than a hundred dollars to me. It was priceless. They owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear, and I want you to make Mike Tyson bite it off and spit it into my hand. Well, I don't really have the power to force Mike Tyson to bite Evander Holyfield's other ear ear off, but I suppose I could give you a 24-hour pass to go bite it off. Wait, me? I could bite his other ear off? Yes. You have 24 hours to go bite Evander Holyfield's ear off without it being considered a crime. But after that 24-hour period, it will become a crime. So you better go. Bite his ear off. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Now, where is he? <laughs> hey, Marvin. I liked it better when you would knock before you came in my house. It's really important this time. Ooh, I really do like your hair, though. Thank you. You look good. YouTube. Sorry, guys. The setup was so awesome. <laughs> anyway, setup. Yeah, this is a pet. You look good. No, oh, well, I don't feel good. Did you see on the news about the UPS plane that crashed into that children's hospital? I know. That was so sad. Wait, you feel bad because you knew my package was on that plane? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, maybe you should have been more considerate. A lot of people died. Yeah, whatever. But my package was one of a kind. It was irreplaceable. What was your package? Like a kitten or a puppy? No, it was a Vander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. You bought an ear that was bitten off? Yeah, for a hundred bucks. It was a pretty good deal, actually. Oh, okay, so why do you even care if it was only $100? Because it's not about the money, Marvin, it's about the ear. And the judge says I have 24 hours to legally bite off Evander Holyfield's other ear. But won't he need that? Well, he didn't need the other one, he was auctioning it off. This whole situation sounded completely insane and stupid. I know, but I just came to you to see if you know where Evander Holyfield is. I don't know where that guy is, I don't even know what he does now. Oh. Well, maybe you could try calling his agent and asking his agent where he is. Ooh, see, Marvin, this is why I come to you. You have smart ideas. I'm going to go get my phone. Okay, I googled his agent's phone number, and I'm going to call him. Hello, you've reached Steve Staleberger, talent agent. Uh, yes, do you represent Evander Holyfield? I do! Okay, so where is he? Well, I can't disclose that kind of information unless it's for business purposes. Oh, it is. He owes me something. Oh, well, what's he owe you? <laughs> Let's just say it's an earful. Well, what is it? in my mouth. What? <laughs> I'm gonna bite his ear off because the judge said I could. Hello? Hello? Uh, he hung up on me. Well, maybe because the way you approached the situation. Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have said you were gonna bite his ear off. Marvin, could you call him and see if you can find out where he is? <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, it's ringing. Hello, you've reached Steve Stalenberger, talent agent. Uh, yes, you represent a Vander Holyfield, correct? <sighs> this isn't another prank call about biting his ear off again, is it? We get those all the time. No, 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 this is a business opportunity for Mr. Holyfield. Oh, well, what is it? Well, we have an opportunity for him to go back into boxing. Oh, he loves doing that. Yeah, Mike Tyson wants a rematch. Oh, okay. So where is he so I can talk about this opportunity? He's at the Applebee's right now. 
Okay, well, then we'll head that way. Okay, I'll let them know you're coming. Thank you. They said he's at Applebee's. Which Applebee's? The Applebee's. Oh, the Applebee's, of course. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go over there, and I'll, I'll dress up like a waiter and then bite his ear off. Hello, welcome to Applebee's. What would you like to drink? Sir? Sir? Oh, oh you, you were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I could, hey, you know, I'm missing the air now. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. What, what would you like to drink? Hey there, I'm the district manager for Applebee's. Uh, you can go home. Really? Yeah, you're fired. Oh! Hey there, Mr. Holyfield. Oh, you recognize me? <laughs> oh, you must be a fan of something. Yeah, I'm a big fan. You want an autograph? No, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> well, what can I get you started with? Maybe an appetizer ear? Oh, uh, uh, what you got? What you got? Uh, maybe, maybe an irresistible? Ooh, um, hmm. I ain't really in the text mix room. Oh, uh, okay. Well, what do you want? Mm. How about we go with a cheeseburger? Ooh, a cheeseburger ear. Good choice. Well, which one do you want? Take a good hard look. Mm. What you got? What you got? How about an impossible cheeseburger? Uh, okay, yeah. yeah. Impossible burger. Got gotcha. you. I'll, I'll go put that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Holyfield. Here's your cheeseburger ear and your complimentary fries. All right, calm down, nigga. That's a lot of ear jokes. Sorry. Jeez. Just take a bite like Mike Tyson. Whatever. Are you going to watch me eat? Um, do you mind if I take a bite? They don't really feed us here. Uh, my burger? Y yeah, C can we, like, do it close to your face, though? Like, maybe we, like, Lady in the Trampet? Mm, whatever, man. <laughs> Breaking news, okay? An Applebee's waiter has bitten off Evander Holyfield's other ear while eating dinner. He actually did it. You still have it in your mouth. I don't know. I just <laughs> thought it was cool. Oh, okay, well, that's like Mike Tyson. That's disgusting. Well, you finally got it. Are you happy? No, because it's still not the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Well, how would anyone know? You're right. Nobody would know. I could just say this is the ear Mike Tyson bit off. But I don't have a certificate of ear authenticity. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Logan. We have. What is your favorite restaurant? McDonald's for sure. Fast food wise, I don't really have a favorite restaurant for this anything. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, subscribe, and comment.